All right, I'm sitting here with Tony Leva, a former student at the college, and thanks for being here with us, Tony. Hey, no problem. Thanks for having me. All right, so I guess the first question I want to ask you is, how did you get involved with theater at the college? Uh, well, back in 08, uh, when I started here, uh, I had known that I wanted to do theater, so I heard that this program was pretty solid. Didn't really know anybody uh, from the program or anything, so I just kind of came to an audition, uh, had a lot of fun, and it kind of all just kept going from there. Yeah, and uh, while you're... While you spent your had your time here at COD, did you uh, ever see any BTE shows? Oh yeah, I saw I saw plenty. Um, the first one I remember seeing was Italian American Reconciliation back in uh, January or February of '09, um, and what was interesting is that that wasn't the first show we had that semester. Um, the first one was actually Sleuth, which was like a murder mystery kind of play, and everyone that was involved in it was saying how awesome it was. And I remember thinking, like, I don't know if I'd work or something, but I couldn't catch a weekend of the show. And I remember thinking how much I regretted not seeing the show, especially after seeing Italian-American Reconciliation, then I Was a Beautiful Day. I can't remember thinking how amazing these shows were and just how disappointed I was in myself to have missed something as special as Sleuth was. And I think that's kind of, like, what what makes me think, like, I know you're, you're saying that BTE is kind of not around anymore. Um, and it just makes me think of like how like important these shows are to students. Because I remember going there and thinking, wow, we can do professional theater at a community college. And it's inspiring to all the students that are here. It gives us someone to actually like look up to, uh, learn from. And I just remember that feeling that I missed something. Mm-hmm. And I can't imagine students nowadays having missed that, and it's really a shame that that has to happen, and hopefully we can flip that around. So what was your first reaction when you found out that BT was being discontinued? I was pretty devastated. I mean, I remember talking with uh, Connie and Amelia, and they said they were kind of on the ropes about it, you know, not not sure what was going to happen with the group. Um, Made it sound like it was a hiatus, and then all of a sudden we're hearing that it's gone. And it's just super devastating because, again, you're just seeing these brilliant shows being put on semester after semester, and it gives plenty of students a chance to work backstage, get to see professionals doing work at a college level or in the college. It's really, it's really something special and super terrible that it's not around right now. Yeah. How big of a loss do you think this is for the college? I think it's huge. Um, I think that you're missing out on a demographic of people who would come and see BTE shows, uh, they'd enjoy them, and then they'd notice that we have college theater shows going on. So all of a sudden, you're losing, you know, this, this huge variety of people that were coming to see BTE shows and saying, hey, you know, this person is directing the BTE show, like Connie or Amelia, and they're directing a student show. We should go check that out. And so all of a sudden, you're getting more involvement of people coming to see the students act which I think is what BT also tries to do, not only sell their shows, but get people coming in to see the students. Yeah, and also, how big of a loss do you think this is for the community in DuPage County? Yeah, I think it's huge, because this is like the big professional company that's in DuPage, you know? I mean, we have um, Oak Brook, you know, we have the Water Tower, not the Water Tower, so we have um, Drury Lane over there in Oak Brook, and yeah, that's in the DuPage area. It's a great place to go. Uh, They have a really nice theater, but then you have something that is really close for like a lot of the northwest suburbs just right here at COD and it's just another real cool opportunity to see more of straight plays because I know Drury Lane does a lot of like musicals so here at you know BT you got to see a lot of dramas, comedies, um, some really special things and I think the community is definitely missing that. Alright so why did you sign the petition? Um, I love BTE that's what it is I mean I remember coming here, getting to see those shows, and just thinking how awesome it was. It gave us this, like, point of reference that we can do this, you know? Because you have teachers who are in the school who are, like, you know, promoting theater, doing theater, and something that we can all do. And, yeah, it's just a huge loss. Do you think uh, BT will ever come back? Yeah, I do. I really do. I think so. And I think with the work that you guys are doing, it's definitely at least putting voices to a voiceless cause, which is great. We need more of that happening all the time. And I think by all these students and professionals coming together and really supporting BTE, we're getting somewhere. All right, excellent. So do you have any final thoughts? Uh, Final thoughts? Yeah. Connie and Amelia are two of the greatest 
professionals I've ever gotten to work with ever. And I think it's truly a shame that they can't be out there directing professional theater, working with students, and giving us all something to really look forward to and to aspire to. And I hope that changes soon. I think we're making some really good steps in that direction. I think you guys are definitely heading in the right direction for bringing BTE back. And anything we can do to help, like I will.